In this video, I will show you how I was able to use Chrome OS for free on this gaming laptop by installing Chrome OS Flex and give you some of my thoughts when using it as a Linux user so that whether you're curious about Chromebook and want to try the system before using it or you have an old machine lying around you want to utilize but terrified by the idea of installing Linux or you feel like your old Chromebook is still running fine but Google has stopped patching it just because it's too old or you're as shallow as me think it is very pretty to look at and just want to try it out no matter which reason it is I hope this video can help you find the answer so sit back and enjoy the ride going forward I will refer to the system as either Flex or Chrome OS to get a better success rate when reading out from the script from the teleprompter because the name is quite long now let's dig in Google has released the Chrome OS Flex after you acquired a company Neverware whose main product was cloud ready it was a system built on top of the open source version of the Chrome OS called Chromium OS aiming to support third-party hardware to reduce the electronic waste now there is no place to download cloudware anymore after Google's announcement of Flex I found there are several places leading to the actual tutorial on how to install the OS if you search Chrome OS Flex on Google like this you'll find it goes to the page asking you personal information and if you see the tiny paragraph here you can see there is a link which directly go to the instruction the second place is on Neverware's official website the addition for home section will lead you to the tutorial as well the first step is to burn the USB drive unlike most Linux distributions you don't have to download the ISO file and use a tool like Rufus or Etcher to burn it onto your USB it is more similar to the default way of preparing Windows installer drive that they have an application for creating the USB this means it is more user friendly for people coming from Windows but as a Ventway user it means I cannot just download the ISO file to my commonly used Linux boot up device and had to go and grab another USB to do this however it doesn't mean there is no confusion for the new users because when I open up the tool I was greeted with an option to enter the model number which of course I don't have the good thing is that the official guide is quite clear that you need to click on the select model from the list button then select Chrome OS Flex and the same option will appear in the next drop down I know it is quite tricky to find without reading the handbook properly it took me several tries to realize where it is in the tool because I am arrogant it also feels like Google hides it in the tool on purpose as they don't really want people to install it on their own devices but I'm just assuming here another heads up is that this tool is not compatible with Linux I tried installing it on the official build of Chrome browser in Linux it just wouldn't run which seems ironic to me given that the whole system is built on top of Linux and the Chrome browser in Chrome OS is probably the same browser they built for Linux so be prepared before you go in there is nothing much to be mentioned in the installation process you only need to click three buttons in total it has a warning saying it will erase all your disk so make sure you have done your data backup before clicking next because I didn't find any indication on how to do with it with Windows and please let me know if you know where it is usually at this stage for Linux I would always need to worry about installing the NVIDIA proprietary driver but with Chrome OS which is designed to work with specific categories of hardware in mind like Mac OS I can understand there is probably no such application or method to install it but to my surprise there is less issue than I expected it to be this is probably because it is built on top of Linux kernel meaning if Flex uses a fairly new Linux kernel which in my understanding includes an open source NVIDIA driver already it will work with most of the modern but slightly old hardware because I'm using a 2019 Zephyrus G14 I am happy and a little bit surprised to report that I can use my girlfriend's 32 inch monitor 
as either main or external display. Mirror the two screens and turn off my laptop screen completely by closing the lid. No issue with audio, Wi-Fi, even the USB-C charging is working properly. However, there are things I found that may be related to not having the proprietary driver. First, it heats up super fast under light load. It also loses battery life like crazy when unplugged which are not happening on any other Linux distributions with the proprietary driver installed. The other shortcoming is the USB-C port is not output the complete video signal. Only the HDMI port works properly with the external monitor. So there you have it. If all you need is to have a taste of Chrome OS or to have a lightweight Chrome browser system to do some work and don't really care about using Android apps on a desktop, you can stop now. It looks like a Chrome OS. It works like a Chrome OS. It even does the automatic system updates like a Chrome OS. But at this point, I encourage you to turn on the Linux environment in the system. Because if you're like me, having it installed on a more powerful machine, it can open up a whole new world for you. So you can have a taste of what freedom tastes like. And I hope you could slowly muster the courage to try real Linux. The procedure is super simple. Go to the advanced menu, find the developers option, and click the turn on button. With some customization, the system will take care of the rest. Next, go to flathub.org, quick setup page, and go into Chrome OS. Follow the tutorial there. With this, the first thing you can do is ditch the Chrome browser in Chrome OS. How awesome is that? I am a Brave browser fan, so I installed it by search Brave on their website and copy the command to the terminal. Boom! Now I'm writing the script of this video using Google Doc on a third-party browser in Chrome OS with all my personal bookmarks and settings synced up without registering any username and password. Again, if you are using an x86 platform, there are tons of browsers you can try. FlatHub has all the famous browsers people use in macOS and Windows, like Firefox and Edge. There are also games and emulators if you're into those things. The performance will depend on the device you're using. I can do some light gaming without any issue, but I don't think AAA games will run on this gaming laptop, given it is already super hot when running in the light load and Linux is actually running in a virtualization layer which does not have any hardware acceleration. Finally, let's compare it with the actual Chrome OS. Before installing this system, I did try out the Linux inside my girlfriend's Chromebook, which has a Snapdragon ARM CPU and 4 gigs of RAM. The third-party browser Vivaldi was barely usable, which is not the case here. The Brave browser is running so smoothly that I was able to use it to write a script for this video while getting my fingers second degree burnt. Pretty fun. I didn't face any issue watching 4K videos like I did on Chromebook either. So I'd say it's worth a shot installing it if you're interested. Before ending this video, I had another crazy thought. I acknowledge that Chromebooks are quite cheap compared to their competitors which run Mac OS and Windows. But I bought an even cheaper device several months back, this mini PC. Despite it is half the price of the Chromebook, it is actually equipped with a double the RAM. I was thinking what if we return her Chromebook and use this instead, given that she doesn't really use any Android app anyways. All she needs is a proper browser. But I failed. The installer crashes every time when it boots up. I tried using its USB 2 port as well as USB 3, along with different USB drives. Nothing worked, so I have to give up in the end. Let's now have the verdict. Is Chrome OS Flex adequate to be used on an old device? Well, it depends. With my experience on the mini PC, it is definitely true with their claim that it is not going to work on all the hardware out there. But still, I was surprised it did work on my AMD NVIDIA Combo gaming laptop. And from the user standpoint, I would say it has all the functionalities as a proper Chrome OS if you don't care much about using it with Android apps. Just be careful not to burn your fingers. And that is all for this video. 
Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.